Three bedrooms, one level with a great meadow view in gorgeous Saddle Lake Farms. Colleen and David Black, Keller Williams Realty. Call on Colleen. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 28th day of October. James Spann here. Beautiful day today. But a big storm out west. When will it get here? When will rain come back? What about the weekend? All these questions. Well, we've got some answers. And let's get right to the sky cam shots this afternoon. Nice scene there. Beautiful fall sky coming from Tuscaloosa. Looking back to the east from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Down below First Baptist Church, off in the distance, Bryant-Denny Stadium. Up on Mount Cheehaw, boy, the leaves are off a lot of those trees already. Uh, the sky partly sunny up on Alabama's highest mountain. And from Selma, looks like something's on fire on the uh, uh, eastern bank of the Alabama River. That's the Edmund Pettus Bridge, is seen from downtown Selma. Here's a water vapor satellite imagery. What a storm out west. Very cold core, upper low over the four corners. It is cold and snowy as far south as Flagstaff, Arizona. Uh, storms beginning to fire on the uh, warm sector of that thing. And around here, we're in great shape. Just some high-altitude jet stream clouds from Birmingham south, uh, north of Birmingham, the sky clear. And it's nice. Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Alexander City, Montgomery, all at 70 at 2 o'clock. Well, we got a bunch of stuff happening here with that trough. We've got uh, winter storm watches and warnings from the uh, Rockies of Colorado up to uh, North Dakota, the plains up there. And and the warm sector, flash flood watches, in effect, all the way from Houston to the southern tip of Indiana. And that includes places like Memphis and Little Rock. There could be some pretty serious flooding out there in coming days. Uh, around here, no advisories, and uh, it's just a matter of when will rain come back. Severe weather today, a slight risk for parts of north and west Texas, parts of central and west Oklahoma and southern Kansas. Tomorrow, a larger risk area from the western Gulf Coast up into Missouri. In fact, the uh, probabilities are up to 30% for places like Dallas, Shreveport, and Texarkana. Could be a pretty significant little outbreak out there tomorrow. We'll be watching that with great interest. Uh, day three, which is Friday, a slight risk for a large chunk of Mississippi and Louisiana extreme west and southwest Alabama. And, of course, the question is, will there be a risk on day four, which is Saturday here in our state? There could be as we'll see in a moment. Here's a look at the QPF graphic. Heavy rain. Houston up to around Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Uh, the bullseye, 7.3 inches south of Shreveport. And again, uh, there's no doubt there's some very significant risk of flooding out there with a very slow-moving system. Uh, we'll be teased with that rain for the next few days, but they'll have all the action out there. And around here, uh, the amounts in Alabama taper off from about an inch and a half over the Tennessee Valley down to a lighter amount over Mobile. And we'll get the rain, but it could be Saturday night before the organized storms come in here. Let's look. This is the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow, 1 o'clock on uh, Thursday. Cold court trough off to the west. Uh, and uh, the warm 588 ridge extends into Alabama. Should be a pretty mild day tomorrow. Uh, down below that, the uh, good moisture return is west of here. Surface low developing uh, near Wichita, Kansas, and you can see potential for a pretty good severe weather outbreak from uh, Dallas up towards St. Louis. And uh, There could be a shower over west Alabama, but the bulk of the state, we think, will be dry during the day, maybe a shower by late afternoon. Friday will be a mild and breezy day, just a few scattered showers. I don't think it rains much Friday. Uh, it could rain at times, but not much. The initial low is deepening well under 1,000 millibars. Up uh, near International Falls, Minnesota, and you can see that axis of heavy rain going nowhere from Houston to Memphis and Indianapolis. And that's where some real serious flooding issues could develop. For Friday night football, I don't think rain's going to be a big problem. Could there be a shower? Sure. But nothing organized. Saturday starting off the weekend, you see the deal, the trough kind of lifting out in two pieces. The first piece up in eastern Canada. The second part hangs back over the southern plain states. And down below that Saturday, where's the heaviest rain? Basically the same place. Not much difference. It's uh, heavy rain from near Alexandria, Louisiana, up to uh, uh, near Paducah, Kentucky. And if this is right, a pretty good chunk of East Alabama will be dry Saturday. So, you know, uh, what's funny, initially we looked at the uh, better chance of strong to severe storms Friday night, back at the beginning of the week. Well, now it looks like it might be Saturday night. There's a look at midnight Saturday night. Negative tilt shortwave rotating through. And we think there will be a pretty decent amount of instability. And there's the surface chart. A surface low is deepening north of us. And a band of thunderstorms blowing through here. 
So while a few showers are possible late tomorrow, Friday, and during the day Saturday, it sure looks like the big event will be Saturday night now. How about that for some timing changes? And then 1 o'clock Sunday, the rain is long gone. Still looks like Sunday will be a nice day. So for the moment, by golly, it looks like the best chance of strong to severe storms about 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon until midnight Saturday night. Monday of next week, uh, cooler air dropping in. Tuesday looks dry and cool. And Wednesday of next week, so uh, the first half of next week looks dry. We'll check the end of the forecast the 13th of November. Polar jet stream north of us, and uh, that looks pretty benign with the cold air staying up north, at least on this run. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We will have notes on our blog. We invite you to check it out if you're not watching on the blog. Maybe you're watching this directly on YouTube or iTunes. That's uh, alabamawx.com. Uh, we will have uh, more on television tonight if you're local to us, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.